Hi, my name is Chris Hegan, Senior Product Manager for AutoView, Genetech's license plate recognition product line. This is our latest offering, the Sharp X. It often gets a lot of attention due to its size. After all, it is the world's smallest, high-resolution LPR camera that is self-illuminated. Today, we'd like to talk about the capture speed. The capture speed is the speed at which a car can drive by and we can still read its plate. Now, we sport some very impressive numbers on our website and on our data sheets. We talk about capturing plates at over 200 miles per hour or 320 kilometers per hour. All this is very impressive and anybody could put up some impressive numbers on a sheet, but can it really capture that quickly? That's what we're here to prove today. We're going to be running an experiment on the Genetech racetrack with the Genetech charger and, of course, a high-speed racer to see if, in fact, we can capture at these speeds. Today we're going to be using the Genetech Charger. This is a charger that's owned by Genetech whose sole purpose is to emulate what police officers go through every day when they're using our system. So this is a typical police vehicle. What we have here is a real light bar and a Genetech Sharp X camera system. This is our newest offering in the law enforcement market. It is the world's smallest high resolution license plate recognition camera system you can buy. If we go to the trunk of the vehicle, this is really where the brains of the operation is. This is the, uh, the main processing unit of our LPR system. Right now we're running a two camera system, so it actually has two individual processors. One processor is dedicated per camera, which ensures we can really process the maximum amount of, uh, of license plates and make sure we use our cameras to its full potential. We got an interesting set of tests for you today. We managed to get our hands on a Honda S2000 running a Corvette ZR1 engine inside. Not your typical run-of-the-mill Honda. Now, the ideas for the first test is we're going to park our Genetech charger on the side of the road and have the Honda progressively drive by at quicker and quicker speeds. We're going to see up to what speed we can read the plate. Once those tests are done, we will then move to the differential test. Now, in the differential test, we simulate a police officer driving in one direction with a suspect vehicle driving in the opposite direction, hence the differential speeds. This is the way we will be able to achieve the highest speed in reading because they're traveling, in fact, in opposite directions. Wow, that was a pretty impressive set of tests and a lot of fun too. So what conclusions can we draw from all this? Well, we start off with the stationary test. The stationary test simulates an officer on the side of the road just monitoring traffic. And no matter how hard we pushed that Honda, we were still able to read the plates. That's why we had to up it and go to differential tests. In the differential test, we had two vehicles going in opposite directions. And in this test, we were still able to prove that we were in fact able to read at 200 miles an hour or 320 kilometers an hour. For more information, I invite you to visit our website at www.genetech.com slash sharpx. And for those of you who are still interested, here's a little bit of extra footage for your viewing pleasure. <laughs> 